Did you ever wonder why it takes so dang long to dry wood? And if you didn't know it takes forever, now you do. Long story short, I was in a hurry to finish this mallet for a customer of mine. I needed the mallet head to dry and shrink over the handle and it dawned on me. Why don't we just try and dry it in a microwave? And then of course other questions came up like, has anyone else even tried this before? Is this even safe to do? Kyle's, ah, holy f A little known secret is not only have they tried, but they've succeeded, but on a bigger scale. Let me show you. I think I should start this bad boy off by saying, don't try this at home. Also, if you wanna stay married, don't use your wife's microwave, dummy. We can heat food faster, like disgusting dried out pizza, but can we use the same concept to dry lumber faster too? Can we press a couple of buttons and voila, dry wood? So before we potentially blow up our poor little break room microwave, I just wanna point out that there are industrial microwave ovens that do dry lumber. As a matter of fact, while researching this video, I came across an article by industrialmicrowave.com that states that microwave wood Wood drying can be up to 50% faster than traditional wood kilns and reduce energy consumption by up to 30%. They even have different systems for different needs, like portable microwaves. They even have microwaves built in modules like Legos. I'll leave the article in the description if you want to check that out. We got to get moving on to this test. We don't have the money to buy one of those industrial microwaves. And besides, we just wanted to see if we could dry wood in a regular old microwave that you'd find in any kitchen here in America. So before we start throwing chunks of wood into this microwave. Let's meet up with Kendall. I know he's gonna wanna see this and we gotta go over some ground rules first. I had a customer told me that he dried wood in his microwave. He dried wood in I'm the serious. microwave. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, we wanted to test this method out for yeah. a while. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a moisture meter, we're gonna record the moisture content and then throw it in the microwave afterwards. 35%, ooh, that's really 35%, <laughs> all right, that's, that's wet. That's wet. Well, let's wet. do our first test here. Slap it in the microwave and uh, we'll find out what happens. This is Close. a super high quality microwave. This is our work microwave. Yeah, this is our... <laughs> yeah, how long are you gonna slap it in there for? Uh, 35%, I don't know. I've never dried wood before. Well, let's it's try... Take a while. Let's try 10 minutes. 10 minutes? All right. Is it dry yet? I doubt it. <laughs> it's yep. cold out. Man, it's been cold. Yeah, it has been so. cold. Kyle's... Ah! Holy... <laughs> Don't try this at home, folks. Definitely don't use your wife's microwave for this. Always make sure to run a metal detector through the wood before you put it in the microwave. As a matter of fact, just don't even try this at home, folks. So now we gotta go get a microwave. I gotta look all over the place. I don't wanna buy a brand new microwave for the guys, for the break room. No. And then now we gotta find another bigger microwave anyways, so we can fit bigger chunks of wood yeah. in the microwave. So- Maybe more wattage too. Yep, probably more wattage. So we'll be able to dry better. We gotta do better tests too, not just moisture, control mm -hmm. we're gonna do weight before and after yep. and then of course run a metal detector across the wood this time to make sure there's no metal in it before we I put mean, it all right let's go find another microwave now that we know that our crappy little small microwave upstairs isn't gonna work i've been looking scouring the internet reddit forums ebay even and went to marketplace first and i set an alert so that whenever bigger microwaves it's still a household microwave but i think i found one it was listed four weeks ago though near Zimmerman. The most important part is the fact that it's 2.2 cubic feet. So it's big enough to fit bigger pieces of wood into it. It's 1200 watts stainless steel. That being said, I gotta drive tonight all the way to Zimmerman from, from here at K&J, all the way down to Zimmerman to pick up that stainless steel microwave that we're gonna test out here. I'm totally saving you guys the agony of having to come with me on this trip. Ugh, man, this thing's heavy. As you can see, we, we got a new microwave from uh, Marketplace. This is totally like a government operation here because if it doesn't work when it's small, you just make it bigger and <laughs> spend more money and it'll work. Yeah, there you go, there you go, yeah, he's got a point. 
So we, I was aiming for a two cubic foot microwave. The guy, the listing said it was two cubic feet. I get and measured it, it's actually 1.7 cubic feet, but it's a higher wattage, right? What is yeah. the wattage? I think this one's 1200 watts. 1200 watts, so we're just gonna slap some piece of wood in there. We got him marked off, three pieces of hardwood, red oak, one, two, and three, and he's got a piece of pine right there. We're gonna weigh them first and hit them and record the moisture content first. Like we're gonna be putting all these in the microwave, and before we get the results of the test, I wanna talk to you a little bit about fractal burning all right listen up this part's important kind of when we we're planning for this video kendall told me something that i thought was really cool he had mentioned that some people use the components of microwaves to do what's called lichtenberg burning sometimes called fractal burning i tried to plan a spot where we'd find an expert to do some fractal burning on camera but little did i know how much stigma there was surrounding this topic just go out and check any fractal burning video and look at the comments sections most of the comments are from woodworkers warning people of how dangerous it is now the more i looked into it the more i found out exactly what the woodworking community thought about fractal burning and it's not good so i'm wondering what you guys think of lichtenberg burning or fractal burning let me know in the comments section below. I've even had your boy Thomas Biggerstaff worried about me. Don't worry, Thomas. I'm not that stupid most of the time. All right, Kendall, I know you've been waiting forever. I have been waiting forever to do this. Impatiently forever, by the way. This guy threw a piece of pine in the microwave before oh. we even started. Okay, instead of doing 10 minutes like we did earlier, we're gonna do one minute. That's it, just one minute. Did you unplug it, Kyle? We're doing the oak parts now. Red oak number one. How about a minute and a half? Okay, whatever. It's a lot heavier, it's bigger. You know, like if, if you got a big plate of food in the microwave, you gotta put it in a little longer. I mean, you can do five minutes. No, I'm not gonna do five minutes. I don't need another fire, going. Kyle. <laughs> is it smoking? Definitely not smoking. Oh, thank God, well. It is warm and you can see on the end here, actually, where a little bit of moisture is being pushed out of the greens, just like on the pine where the sap got pushed out because of the heat. Okay, here we go. Five minutes, red oak number two. We did a five minute initially, now we just did a three. Could try it another three minutes. Whatever, yep, throw it in there. Throw We're it looking in there. for fast results here. I'm looking for fast results here, yep. <laughs> All right, here is the results of the test. For the most part, the cherry piece stayed the same after a minute and a half drying. It stayed the same weight and the same moisture. And for the pine piece, we also put that in for a minute and a half only, but it lost a lot of moisture. It lost 14% moisture content, which is amazing to me, but it only dropped about five grams of weight. Red Oak One, we put it in for only a minute and a half. Now that only lost about 9.2 grams of weight. It's Red Oak Number Two that really caught our attention. So the Red Oak Number Two, we microwaved periodically for about 14 minutes total, and we've seen a loss of 200 nine grams of weight and 20% moisture content. That's amazing to us. If you look a little bit closer here too, you'll notice that it shrunk as well. These two blocks, Red Oak 1 and Red Oak 2, were the same exact size when they started. And you notice here that Red Oak 1 is a little bit warped and it's a little bit smaller too as well. Red Oak number three, we didn't even test. That's right at two and a half inches. Red oak number one, we set in the microwave, it's at two and three eighths. And then red oak number two is at two, just below two and a quarter. Yeah, that's amazing. They all pretty much started out the same size too. Along with my results, I think here's a couple thoughts that Kendall had on the results of these tests as well. One. That's crazy. I can't believe we're pulling moisture out that quick. We've taken out 205 grams of moisture. That's pretty impressive. Now, I don't think I would microwave 14 minutes at one time but we're doing it in little spurts here and this is working out well. Usually yeah. when you would dry wood this thick, you'd get some surface checking and there's none whatsoever. That's pretty amazing. I'm actually amazed at the results of this test. So much so that I had to rewrite the script in this section of the video because when I first wrote the script, I had assumed that this wasn't gonna work and that the wood was gonna crack or explode like it did in the first part of this video. And it still might, depending on what species you intend to dry in the microwave. But you know what happens when you assume? You make <laughs> out of you and me. For now, it looks like this little experiment actually worked out and that you can really dry wood in a microwave, sort of. But at least it was with so many more questions to answer. And if this video does well, I might even buy a microwave kiln or build one. Could be our next video. You know. Hey, Kyle. Yeah. Check out what just showed up in the yard. What? No way.